Hey everybody, welcome in. Frozone has his buffs. We've been talking about him recently. I've got a video of him pre-buffs. I we talked about when went over his buffs. I'm just gonna quickly go over and show you what has changed. Uh, so now his basic has 50% chance to deal slow, and then also if someone has slow, uh, he will extend their slow durations by one, which is that 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 in itself is amazing. His second special. Probably one of the one of the best things about him is that it'll give a flanking in a straight line a row of people two turns of slow. A stack of two of slow is great. And then um or he will also give defense down, uh, which was added to which was added to his ability here because it was previous on a passive that was changed in the buff. Um but it's also got 30% chance to reduce the speed meter of those opponents by 50%. And if that happens, that's amazing. But it's a, it's 30%, it's, it's a low, it's like 1 in 3, is less than 1 in 3, so you'll often find that you don't get it. Now, his big block freezing status. Um, this one, he pretty much targets one of your characters, you freeze them, they become invulnerable, they can't take any damage, that cleanses any harmful effects, and on their second turn, they come out of it, and then they can use their abilities and go. What is disappointing about this? It's healing. His healing is less than his basic attack, and he doesn't even hit hard. So this means it's not going to heal very much. We've got to hope that as he levels up in scales, it goes way higher, but generally speaking... Healing is usually relative to the target, uh, the the uh, damage that you deal. Um, so if this is dealing uh, less than his main attack, generally that's what the, that's what the case is going to be like. The higher he goes as well, um, and that's going to be a shame. Although when you increase a few recovery years, that will increase a little bit as well. But it's still very disappointing. Um, the few uses that you will want to use this for is cleansing. Having someone who has cleanse can be helpful. Uh, cleansing charms, cleansing stuns, cleansing slows or vulnerables. Things that really will change the game or your, harm your team. That can, that can potentially be great. But it has to be worth sacrificing one turn. Now... His passive, there we go. So this and his other second ability, um, his main first ability, that flanking one, is the best thing about him. Previously, this was a 5% chance to activate, and it only activated every three turns, if you're lucky enough for it to activate. Terrible. Now, on 15% chance, any damage, that is so much better. He has a chance to counterattack, and then he's going to inflict slow, when he counterattacks, and then if they have slow already, he's going to stun them instead. That is amazing. Also, when you level him up, um, he is going to get the extra bonus of when Incredibles fall below 50%. Now, there's a couple of them that are doing that. He is going to gain 30% speed bar, or when he inflicts status. So that's his big block freezing move. He's going to get 30% speed bar. That's a nice little bonus of if you have to use it, at least he's going to be a little bit faster to get his turn around again and have another go. So that's a bonus. Now one bad thing about the buff. Got a little subtle nerf. Previously, if you go back and look at the old video, he used to do 670-ish damage on the counterattack. And maybe it was like that because it was so rare that it would ever happen. But it was nice that... He had some nice big punch to come out of him. Um, now it does have the stun, but hey, it would have been nice to have the more damage. But let's jump into this. We're going to go take him out and the team out for a run in in the in the. Uh, grand arena and just see how he fits in with the Incredibles as a team I know a lot of people have been asking how does he fit in is he gonna be good let's see so 
what we will start on doing is get Dash some charges. I will take those evades if I need to. Um, I love the way they just walk on out. That's so cool. So we're just going to get start getting set up. And what you really want is on those assists, you, you want Frozone to assist. Because if Frozone assists, then let's see if we need a slow. No. A slow would have been nice. Pew, pew. Um, but what we do want to see... What we do want to see is, uh, I'm just going to take down here for now. I want to taunt just for now, just until, just until, pew! Um, now, I can potentially remove that taunt. That's another bonus of his, is that he can remove taunt, and now I'm protecting him, but I also protect the help to try and protect my dash, and that's what I was trying to aim for. Um... Wow. Let's get some charges up. And I'm just gonna shield up the team for a little bit. <clears throat> now, let's dash four times. Let's do it. Now let's see, can we drop the turn meters by 50%? No. The the that is the, the, the disappointing thing about that move. Is that it is so low, like 30% chance to, to proc is just not enough. It's, as you can see, it's not happening very often. Um, and oh, do I want to, I'll, I'll just take him out just so I don't have to worry about him for the time being. Now, let's see if we need more slows and stack some slows. Um, that's what we want to be aiming for. That was not what I was meaning to do. <laughs> but I will grab some charges. Pew, pew. Um, now, Frozone. I, I completely forget that that is that I didn't even pay. Th I'm so used to having three rounds. Um, all matches, three rounds. So... There we go, you see that they, that they, he kind of fits in kind of nicely, he can cleanse if you need a cleanse, um, now what I really want to see is his um, speed meter decreasing, but it's also just a risk, it is a risk of it happening with his, with his, um, with his 30% chance and you really want really 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 want I'm gonna dash dash it up um you really really want oh, here we go so watch this I so he's gonna be stunned he's gonna be wasting his turn next turn I might as well cleanse him now he is gonna be untargetable and then and then not only that but he is also going to gain a little bit of health. Now, the bad thing is that you'll see very soon. That's, that's just pretty much nothing. Um, which is sad. I'm just going to use this attack just to let's see if we can get some decrease. There we go. So, decrease his speed bar by 50%. Um, which, that in itself is... That in itself is great. Um... To be able to do that to something is great. Like if, if you can do that to a whole row, that's amazing. But likelihood is that we just saw that it's probably not going to happen too often. But when it does, it's going to be great. Oof, those things hit hard. Um, it's done. Yes. I'll take it. Um, and let's build up some crits. So who can, I want to try and slow this guy here at the front, just because with Frozone, you're going to want to try and, oof, so now, now will be the perfect time, ah, uh, too late, too late, uh, now would have been the perfect time 
to have have say violet or frozone assisting but let's see 30 percent chance no so times like that still a little bit on the disappointing side i'd say just for that he doesn't he what you want to use him for is that now the slow he still does a slow um so that slow is great and it's a pretty amazing but oh that's not what i wanted to do i'm going to freeze myself here because i don't want to get myself locked on the cycle so what i can do by doing that is guarantee dash's turn and goes next and stays next um and then i don't have to take with anyone else when i have got a crit build up so there boom goes past his turn and now i can use dash's turn again and he can go out and make sure I'm using him to do what I want and to get the to get the stuns. Oh, she even shields those. That's cool. Let's see, fifty percent. <gasps> no, um, and that's that's gonna be the one downside to to Frozen is that the times where you really want to be getting that, um, you just you're just not gonna get it. So that's a shame. Um, also, his counterattack at 15%, if we thought that him trying to reduce people's speed meter was not happening at 30%, only got one of it, I didn't get any of his counterattacks. And that's 15%. So that's, that's still very low. I think it could have been it could have been a little bit higher, but I can understand why it's not as well. But in saying that, I do really like him. I think he is a pretty cool part to the the Incredibles team, and it does bring some special, uh, special um, debuffs to the team that the team lacks. So if you're wanting someone with uh, slow and that can help control just a little bit, and when he gets leveled up, he's going to be able to be a little bit faster, get more turn meter, and help out a little bit more. So, Frozone, what do you guys think? I like can't wait to hear from you guys. I think he'll do all right. In, in the Incredibles team, and I think he will be usable out of it. Potentially, he has potential in a slow team. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below. Can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts. Are you going for him? Are you going to be pushing for him? I can't wait to hear from you, and we'll hear from you all soon. Now, I did want to make sure I got some of his counter-attack action in there, and just check this out. So... He gets hit here and boom, he attacks back and gives them slow. If that he already had slow the enemy up there, he would have been stunned. So that is one cool thing about Frozone and his abilities um, and that counter attack. And just being able, him being able to give someone slow right after they've attacked means that's going to make them the longest time doubling their time that they'll ever have a new turn. So pre other times, like if I attack and gave someone slow when their bar is half full, it's only going to really slow them down by a quarter because they lose the slow effect by the next turn. So it is being able to have it on a counter attack is actually super super useful. So when it does trigger, is all and it is it is a rare opportunity. So hopefully you actually like to see that little bonus content of his counter-attack and let me know does that make frozone any better there we go and look at that another one so getting a couple the counter-attack is probably one of my favorite things about him but it's one of those chance things so his best two things about him are his chance and one solid thing is his free his slow so solid slow and then a couple of good chances so let me know does that make him good? Does that make him not? Do you want to go for him? I'm excited about him anyway. So can't wait to hear from you guys. And hey, Frozone now.